is iShow Speed a marketing genius? iShow Speed is a famous streamer who's recently hit the 13 million subscriber mark and continues to average over 80,000 people on his live stream. He's well known on TikTok, YouTube, Twitch for his mannerism and his bark. However, outside of streaming, he has a passion for football and for Cristiano Ronaldo. With the release of his new song called World Cup, it has the huge potential to break the social media algorithm and increase his exposure and brand. The FIFA World Cup is set to take place in Qatar and has been subject to controversies pertaining to human rights and financial issues, which will increase the media exposure for this huge event. FIFA World Cup is a national soccer tournament that happens every four years, which is estimated to be watched by 5 billion people worldwide. If I show speak and tap into the viewership, it can lead to huge exposure to his brand. The most viewed World Cup songs from Shakira called Waka Waka from 12 years ago and has been viewed over 3 billion times. Just like a Super Bowl performance, the artists will usually see a tremendous spike to their streaming content due to the event exposure. Also similar to the Mariah Carey yearly Christmas resurgence, Waka Waka has seen an increase during the years the World Cup is hosted. If Speed Song is able to break into the market even as an unofficial World Cup song, it has the potential to have yearly relevance in the future. Currently, the music video for World Cup has been watched 13 million times, which will most likely see an increase once the World Cup trend on social media sites such as Twitter, TikTok, and YouTube. If you currently type in World Cup in your YouTube search engine, there's a good chance that the music video will be one of the first videos that is recommended on your feed. As a result, it's guaranteed to see huge traffic of viewership during the FIFA World Cup when people begin to search the word World Cup and indirectly click and watch the music video. However, what alleged fan named Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. might be the linking factor to get iShow Speed an opportunity to meet Cristiano Ronaldo, which will further blow up the song popularity and create a lot of memes. Currently, iShow Speed's at England has been streaming at multiple football games, which has been increasing his exposure to the soccer community. In his recent interview with Sky Sports, iShow Speed broke down after learning that Cristiano Ronaldo wasn't going to be playing in the starting lineup. Lastly, iShow Speed is already a very popular controversial influencer which has a countless influencers, Twitch streamers, and YouTube streamers such as Kai Sana, Aiden Ross, and Hassam reacting to his music video which will further drive the YouTube algorithm. Some of the reaction videos have even gained over 500,000 views each. Recently during a live stream with Lil Nas X, Lil Nas even gave his approval of the song and even cried when listening to it. Real or fake, the clips and memes are sure to further push the viewership metrics to this video. In addition, many clips and memes already have been circulating around Twitter and are getting already hundreds of thousands of likes. Intentionally or unintentionally, I show speed to lay the groundworks for a successful marketing campaign to his brand for the upcoming months. I think once the World Cup actually begins or if we meet Cristiano Ronaldo, clips from TikTok and Twitter will circulate even more and increase his subscriber and music video count. As of 11.10, he has 13 million views on the video. However, down in the comments, let me know what you think the final number will be after the end of the tournament. My prediction is that it will be over 25 million views counts after the FIFA World Cup. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. Thank you and have an amazing day.